hey y'all welcome back to my channel so for today's video i'm going to be giving you guys an in-depth version of how i do my makeup and how you can avoid any flashback or any ashy looks after you do apply your concealer or your setting powder so if you are interested in this video make sure you stay tuned before this video i did say that i was going to go in depth on how you can avoid any flashback from your concealer or the setting powder that you decide to use whether it's white or yellow um so let's go ahead and get started right now i'm taking my born this way concealer from too faced in the shade spice rum and i'm just going to be concealing my dark spots So now I am blending out that concealer and then afterwards I'm going to go ahead and apply my foundation. But since that concealer already provided some sort of coverage, I'm going to go ahead and take my Fenty Beauty foundation in the shade 440 and I'm going to be using this to finish off the base. So next we're going to go ahead and choose the right concealer for our complexion. So I recommend going up two shades lighter than you. So I am taking the NARS Soft Matte Concealer in the shade Amande. And I'm going to be using this to highlight my face. What I like to do after I apply my concealer, I like to take this brush from e.l.f. and I like to blend out the edges. So once I blend out the edges, I'm going to allow the rest of the product, specifically under my eye, um, to sit. And then I'm going to go ahead and apply my contour. And I feel like this just makes it easier to blend. And then also the reason why I am allowing this product to sit is because I want to build the coverage. Even though I may go in and apply more concealer underneath my eyes. For contour, I am taking the Fenty Beauty Matte Stick in the shade Espresso. And of course, I'm going to be going ahead and applying it in the normal places where you would contour. So that is your cheek your forehead I like to bring it up your jawline your chin and then we can do our nose contour now so to blend out your contour you're going to go ahead and blend the contour on your cheeks up into the concealer like so And then you can also take it around your edges. I was trying to figure out what should I call that, but yeah, take it around your edges. And you're gonna keep blending up. For your jawline, you want to go around it so that it blends into your neck. your chin take that contour around the concealer and let's do the forehead so you want to blend that contour down into that concealer on your forehead and of course for our cheeks blend up into that concealer like we did on the other side. Before we blend out the nose contour, let's go ahead and finish blending out the concealer underneath our eye. So I went back in with that brush from e.l.f. and I'm literally just patting in that product, pressing it into my skin. And I like to make sure I go down my nostril on one end.
To blend out my nose contour, I'm gonna be taking this brush that I normally use to blend out eyeshadow, um, but it is a little bit angled. I'm sure it won't focus, but this is what I'm using to blend out that nose contour. So I like to take it up into my eyebrows and I like to blend down. By taking my foundation brush, I'm making sure that the contour and the concealer blends seamless together. So to demonstrate, I'm gonna be taking two setting powders. One is from Laura Mercier, which is the white translucent powder. And the other is the Sasha Buttercup setting powder, which is of course yellow. So first I am taking my Laura Mercier powder, which is the white one, and I'm gonna be using this to set that concealer. And then after I'm done just setting, this concealer, I'm gonna go ahead and use the yellow one, the yellow setting powder from Sasha Buttercup, and I'm just gonna go ahead and bake. So this is just to show you no matter what color setting powder you're using, whether it's white or color based, you can still get away with the flawless look without looking casket ready. Me personally, I do prefer the white powder better because I feel like it gives me more of an airbrushed look. But for some color, I like taking this yellow one. And I'm just doing the same thing, pressing it into my skin. And we're gonna leave this on here for a little bit. For a couple minutes. So to set my contour, I'm going to be taking the Fenty Beauty bronzer in the shade Mocha Mami. And I'm literally just doing the same thing as I did before when it came to my contour. So I like to blend it up and really layer on that product. I'm gonna go ahead and set my nose contour as well. We allowed that powder to sit long enough, so we're gonna go ahead and brush it away. Kind of like sweep it. So after you sweep away your powder, if your face does not look like this, I highly recommend that you use a overall face powder. So I'm going to go in with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Powder in the shade Dark Deepest. And it looks like this. And I'm just going to be taking this and literally applying it all over my face. All right, y'all, so as far as that being your base on how you can avoid the ashy look, um, this pretty much completes that part of my video, but I am gonna go ahead and finish off the rest of my look and come back to you guys with the finished product. Alright y'all, so this pretty much completes the look. This is the finished look for this video. If you guys enjoyed it and if you found this video helpful, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment down below. I love to read comments, so definitely make sure you guys are being interactive, and I'll definitely see you guys on my next video. Bye y'all.